Hi, my name is Ashley Valentine. I'm an employee here at Children's National and I work in the sickle cell division. Also, my oldest brother Marcus has sickle cell anemia hemoglobin SS and through his life he receives chronic blood transfusions once a month. Thank you for your interest in the Children's National Blood Donor Ambassador Program. This is a new program seeking to empower people affected by sickle cell disease. Through this program, we hope to raise awareness about the importance of blood donation and also to help recruit new blood donors. The purpose of this video is to explain the process and the importance of blood donation. We're also going to answer simple questions so that you can refer others to be part of the Children's National Blood Donor Ambassador Program. Blood donation saves lives. Children with sickle cell disease often need blood transfusion to treat problems like acute chest syndrome and splenic sequestration. For these sickle cell disease emergencies, transfusion can be the difference between life and death. Some children with sickle cell disease also require a blood transfusion every month to prevent stroke. At Children's National, we care for over 70 children with sickle cell disease who need monthly blood transfusions. To just have enough blood for these children, we need over 2,000 units of blood each year. Blood type matching is very important. If someone is transfused with mismatched or incompatible blood, he or she can get very sick. All transfusions must be compatible for the ABO blood group. In addition to the ABO group, there are many other blood groups. When people with sickle cell disease need a transfusion, we try to match for some of these other blood groups. This specially matched blood is important so that bad antibodies are not made that can destroy the transfused blood and make a patient sick. People are more likely to find a good blood match from someone of a similar racial or ethnic background. At Children's National, most children with sickle cell disease are black or African American. They are most likely to find a good blood match with someone who was also black or African American. For example, meet Andre. Andre has sickle cell disease and needs a blood transfusion every month. His extended blood type is big D positive, big C negative, little c positive, big E negative, little e positive. He should receive blood from a donor with his same blood type. Meet Jessica, Janet, and Jim who are all excellent regular blood donors. Only Janet matches Andre's blood type. Janet is the best donor for Andre. Children's National Blood Donor Center collects thousands of blood donations every year, but we need more donors. Specifically, we need more black donors so that we can have our best matched blood for our children with sickle cell disease. We hope that with your help as a blood donor ambassador, we can recruit more donors from your community. As a blood donor ambassador, you will receive official materials like printed handouts and ambassador business cards. When you go into your community to recruit blood donors, follow these tips. First, share your personal story. Explain how sickle cell disease has affected you so that people will understand the importance of donating blood. Next, stress the need for more blood donors, especially black blood donors, to help children with sickle cell disease. Next, explain the blood donation process, like how long it takes. You should also encourage people to set up an appointment to donate blood at the hospital. Finally, give out your personal Blood Donor Center ambassador card so we know who recruited the donor. We want to prepare you to answer some common questions. If you don't know the answer, that's okay. Please direct all other questions to the Blood Donor Center. How does someone schedule an appointment to donate blood? Call 202-476-5437 or visit the website www.cnmcblooddonor.com. The Blood Donor Center is open Monday through Friday and every second and fourth Saturday from 7 to 4 p.m. The Blood Donor Center is located within the hospital at 111 Michigan Avenue Northwest on the second floor next to the cafeteria. Free parking is provided for blood donors. How long does it take to donate blood? The entire process of blood donation takes about an hour. The actual collection of blood from a donor takes less than 10 minutes. Before someone can donate blood, he or she must answer questions to determine if he or she is eligible to donate. Potential blood donors also have their vital signs checked to make sure it is safe for them to donate. After the blood is collected, 
Donors are given a snack and must wait in the donor center for at least 10 minutes. Can everyone donate blood? No. We have rules about who can donate blood to make sure the blood is safe to transfuse. We don't expect you to know all these rules, but you can refer people to the donor eligibility handout. Can someone with sickle cell trait donate blood? People with sickle cell trait cannot donate whole blood, but they can donate platelets. Platelet transfusions are very important for children with sickle cell disease who undergo bone marrow transplant. We often have a limited supply of platelets, so platelet donations are also very much appreciated. Platelet donation takes longer than whole blood donation and involves being hooked up to a machine. Does it hurt to donate blood? The needle stick may feel uncomfortable, but this feeling is very short. Some describe the needle stick as a quick pinch. Now some people are afraid of needles. You can reassure them that the discomfort is short, and you can also motivate them to donate blood by explaining how their blood donation will help people living with sickle cell disease. In addition to collecting blood, at the hospital donor center, Children's National has a blood mobile. A blood mobile is a large van that collects blood in the community. You could help host a blood drive by using the blood mobile in your community. This requires planning in advance because there might already be blood drives scheduled. To schedule one, talk to our blood donor center recruiters, Sonia McConnell or Janie Parrott, to learn more about hosting a blood drive. We want to recognize all of our blood donor ambassadors for helping to recruit new donors. You should give all people who you refer to donate blood your personal blood donor ambassador card. We will ask all new blood donors if they were referred by the ambassador program, and if so, we will ask the name of the ambassador who referred them. We will keep track of the number of donors you recruit so that we can later thank you for all your hard work. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that you are excited about becoming a blood donor ambassador. To become an official ambassador, please come to the Blood Donor Center to sign up and pick up your blood donor ambassador tools. If you have any questions, please contact any of the individuals listed or call the Blood Donor Center at 202-476-5437. Thank you.